Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to the channel. Let's hop into the Watch Me Work, which we will be doing on my nails. Oh my gosh, y'all haven't seen my nails since we did that Madame Glam set, didn't we? Um, so obviously I prepped, I've done everything. I have sized these tips and I'm going for either a pointier almond or a less sharp stiletto. Whatever you think it is, is what it is. So here I am applying um, the Mia Secret dehydrator which i love i'm supposed to be switching to swipe but who knows if that will happen okay Ooh, and i knocked over this oh my gosh just like 12 dollars, and i just knocked it over and i thanked i thanked the almighty nail gods that i did not spill all of it okay so i'm doing two coats of the luminary commit primer this is my primer of choice especially for me because i i'm work first of all this is acrylic and i just acrylic and me don't last very long because of the stuff that i'm doing it's very strenuous things that i'm doing so i'm using my i think that's hermanus Herm, Herm, i can't you know this was a friend gift okay um and i'm using the mia secret multi balance natural um as my clear coat and you guys have seen me do this a lot whenever i do acrylic and i know it's been a minute i've been like sunk in with the poly gel and the gel and the gel has just consumed me i'm covered in it but my channel did originally start with acrylic. So let's get, let's get back to that. Let's get back to basics, okay? Um, so I will be applying a thin coat on all 10 of the nails because I did do all 10 of my nails right then and there. Didn't do one hand today and the other hand tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm keeping this very thin and I love this clear coat part. Like that step right there, applying the clear base, I believe helps with adhesion. Trust me, that's like, that's for me. That's how I get my, it's one of the ways I get my acrylic sets to last on top of like prepping and everything. So this cover color is Mia Secrets Cover Nude Blush. I applied one bead just on top of where the apex is supposed to be and then another bead quite close to the cuticle. I'm getting right behind that bead and pushing to keep that um, area by the cuticle quite flush. And then once I've taken care of that from center to left side wall to right side wall, I then pull the rest of the product down to the center area. Um, I d I'm not afraid to go back into the cuticle area to make sure it continues to be flush. And obviously gravity is your best friend. So point your nails downward and um, clean up your cuticle area quickly if you have any spillage. I do apply a little bit more to the tip just to try to get as uniform a color as I can. But there was a bit of shadowing. So um, I'll tell you how I fixed it. Also, I wasn't too happy about this nude cover blush color. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't as yellow as i wanted it to be because i'm i have an inspo pick which i will be showing you as soon as we get to the nail art portion but um here is where you can see me applying applying another you know a lighter much lighter acrylic this is mia secrets cover beige because i want it to be just a just a little yellower because i do have sort of a yellow undertone okay um so i was really trying to bring that out and i did apply a thin layer on top of that but because i applied a thin layer after already building the nail technically speaking i had to keep my clear like my clear capping like very thin so i'm going back in with the mia secret multi natural balance and i am having to keep it a little bit thinner than i would have normally done because this is where i would have built up the nail but technically i built up the nail with two cover colors first so this clear capping is literally because I can, I shouldn't be filing over this cover color. It's not a core color, it's a cover color. So cap all of your cover colors and um, also build the nail up with your clear or your multi balance natural, which is also very clear or a very light pigmented pink. So you can save on your colored um, acrylics. So I actually mix this glitter myself. This glitter is from Dollar Tree. And can I just tell you, this is giving me first grade glitter assignment. It's just so boring, but um, you'll see why. Because, <laughs> I mean, I could have added a chunky. I could have done some tinsel. I could have went all out. But this basic glitter is what's necessary. So this is some Dollar Tree glitter. And um, I just use some Mia Secret Clear as the base for it. And I'm applying this very, very thinly. Because I do intend to clear cap. And that's when I'll build my structure. And I think I've only ever used this glitter like three or four times after having mixed it. So to be completely honest, I feel like mixing this ahead of time was kind of a waste because I should have kept it raw and then just went in with everything. Not that I'm short on glitter. I have several silver glitters that could pass um, if I needed them. I'm just I'm out of quite a bit of clear because I jumped the gun. So if I had to say, I would just 
buy glitters and work with them raw so you can have just a variety of ways that you can use them so obviously I did this on the thumb and I did this on the ring finger that is also quite covered in all of my rings all my wedding rings oh I should tell you guys um, I have multiple um, engagement rings because my husband actually proposed to me twice let that sink in for a second. I'll do a story time on why that was. Um, so I'm going in with my five and one um, carbide bit that was gifted to me by the beautiful Slade by Val. And obviously I'm just doing very little work because I'm so impressed with how I maintained the shape and didn't have much, much bulk going on. So um, after filing ever so lightly with that um, carbide bit, I am going in with my um, Glitter Bells metal filing board, my fave, my go-to. I do need to change some strips, girl. Them strips is busted! Oh, so once I file to keep the cuticle nice and flush, I am now going from the client's perspective, my perspective, to make sure that shape is what we need it to be. And then I go over the barrel of the nail to make sure the apex is where it's at. And then I buff and cleanse off camera because now let's get into the art of it all. So here is Young Nail's Sheer Pink. I have trashed this Sheer Pink a lot, but let me just tell you there are multiple ways to use it. But before we use it the way I want to use it, let's apply some protein bond on the nail so we don't have the color pulling away from the cuticle area. I still wasn't satisfied with the color of this nail. There was still some shadowing in certain areas. So I used the Sheer Pink about two coats over top to really even it out, but also give me the lightness that I was going for. It ended up like, look, you could see from the left where I did the two coats and to the right where I didn't do it, the difference in, you know, in the color, it looks so nice. So we're doing Savvy Land gel paints. We've got number three and number four, black and a white, number six, which is orange, number 10, which is a blue, model 116, which is a lavender, and then 1474, which is this beautiful fluorescent. And here I am as the inspo nail flirt. Please go and check her out. Um, I am applying the orange first. And I, I don't know what she would say this look is. I called it a geode basically, because that's what it looks like. So I went in with the orange, um, Savvy Land 6. Then I went in with 1474. And the the amount of color, the amount of lines, the, the fullness of the shape is going to vary. So here I am with Model 1's um, number 16. So yes, one more time, let me just shout out Nail Flirt because her design was gorgeous. Please go and check her out. Please go and support her on IG if you haven't already. If you're under a rock, a geode one for that, um, get from under there just fast um, to admire her beautiful art and then just go right back to the geode art and the beauty that that is. So now we're going in with Savvy Land number 10 and this is a freaking gorgeous blue. The pigment on this is crazy. We ain't playing out here. Savvy Land ain't playing with you posers, you, 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 you people. Okay, you jokers, you clowns. They ain't playing with you. Look at this blue. And obviously you can see me changing the, you know, where it's a big amount, like a, a bigger swirl and a thinner line. You know what I mean? So now we're going in. I added some colors when we were, when nobody was looking. Um, I think this is model one, number 13, a very soft, like a minty green. And I just added some top coat to loosen this because they can be quite thick, those solid creams. And I did the same thing to that uh, lavender as well. Um, and then I come back in with the orange and back in with the yellow just to sort of really create that effect. And again, you can see lines thin and thick in certain areas to really create that geode effect. And lastly, I will be adding a bit of the black because the stones themselves are these like, you know, solid color stones and then you crack into them and then you sort of see all the multicolor. Um, don't know that we'll see a geode stone that looks like this. Because this is a summer geode, my friends. This is a sum this is a hot girl summer geode, okay? Um, I don't know when we're going to crack into this. Probably during one of Megan the Stallion's concerts. That's when we will find this hot girl, girl summer geode, probably. And as you can see, the black is also going to vary in, you know, parts of the line that are thicker and thinner. Um, and I do, I tr like, I trace around the whole geode. And then I do just, like, a little, like, like a little thin swirl, sort of. That just makes the you know the design look a little bit more whimsical now you see that space that we left in the middle finger right there um i wanted to get in there with a bit of the black i will say this savvy land's black is not as pigmented as i would like but i will say this you can build it up and not have wrinkling ha 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 
So it's not okay. In terms of like model one solid cream, it's not a stick. However, it is thicker than some of the gel paints that I've had, but where it's interesting is you can build it up and you won't have wrinkling in the lamp. Just cure it for like a full 90 seconds before you take it out and boom, you are done. Um, yeah, middle finger by far was my fave. So if you look at my right hand right now, you notice that the same level of art that's done on the left hand isn't done on the right hand. That's because I was like, let me just finish the left hand first. You know what I mean? Record on that. And then we'll do the right hand later because I was like, it's getting a little on the later side. We know we're going to finish it tonight, but let's wrap up the video first and then we can do the right hand. Like we'll just take a, take a little snack break, eat some pasta. I'm pretty sure I ate some pasta and then we'll just come back to the right hand. But I will, they all got finished on the same day. Promise. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, they all got finished on the same day. Um, I love this design. I really did, really did. So you guys, I am stacking up on videos for you guys. They're all going to be pre-recorded videos that are just hopefully coinciding with the, with the season, but I'm going to go on a break from doing nails for a couple of months. So I'm going to stock up on videos now between now and like August or something in September probably so I'm gonna get you guys so if you hear me say something that doesn't sound right like know that it's a pre-recorded video but this video is being recorded today Saturday um, the 22nd of what are we in July so this will be the most up-to-date video for a long long time um, unless I tell you otherwise so I'm adding just a tinge just a tinge of white um, to add some definition because this is you know this was on nail flirts design she did have a bit of white um Savilan's white is not as pigmented as i would like either but you know again you can build it up in the areas and then not have any um wrinkling which is pretty freaking cool you see me smudge the index oh my i was so frustrated and i didn't just smudge it while it was wet i smudged it while it was curing so then I had to go back and fix it. And I was like, please don't look weird. But it didn't matter because I always go in like you see me doing right now with a bit of base coat to even it out, to smooth out the surface so that I can have that clear line of light, even though I shouldn't have been worried about this because I was doing the matte top coat. But haha, -ha, you can see lumps and bumps in a matte top coat as well. So I do go in with base coat, even if I'm just applying with matte and I know that there's no line of light. I just like a smooth matte finish. So I'm going in with matted from not polish. And I have to give these so much credit. This top coat is thick. Okay. Um, also from not polish, I will be using their, um, their jewelry gel. So I'm taking my model ones, number six brush, and then I'm applying, um, a thin coat over top of this glitter acrylic nail and that's why because i was covering it up in glitter sorry not glitter rhinestones so i wanted to make sure if i missed a spot you'd just be seeing glitter regardless and you couldn't tell that there's not a rhinestone there i'm messing with your mind i'm messing with your eyesight your vision i'm freaking you out twilight zone stranger things all the good stuff and then i'm applying um <laughs> i'm applying gloss it over top so this is so that i didn't actually have to go around those rhinestones with um, top coat to make sure that the glitter does shine. But I still ended up doing it because why? I want these rhinestones to stay out, so to stay in. So I'm applying these fluorescent, very summery colors in color rhinestones in very random places on the nail. So again, back to what I did. I applied jewelry gel, then I applied top coat. This was to make sure that the glitter shined underneath but also it can help you with adhesion. This is like a double thing, you know what I mean? When you sink your rhinestones in, they are sinking in, my friend. Now, because I added the top coat, it made the jewelry gel a bit runny, so you see me having to clean. Um, I also have different variations of, um, what do you call these, AB crystals. So some of them are gifts, some of them I got from AliExpress, some of them I got from, um, was it Amazon? But I noticed that, you know, they were, you know, they were different sizes. They had different foil backings, which meant that I would get a different sort of 
shine from the sun bouncing on them so yeah so here you can see the nail is sort of full i'm like adjusting i'm wiping excess gel then i pop it in the lab and give it a cure and then i go in with more gloss it um, by not polish and then i trace around and i'm filling in anything else you know what i mean like if i have any sort of like spots where things can get caught and i'm really filling them in this is helping the glitter to shine also but also it's securing my rhinestone so i do this on the ring as well as the thumb and guys that is this that's my set for right now okay and top coat time means at the end of the video so please like if you haven't already share comment subscribe do the things do all the things okay do the things julie so here is a video and picture of the finished look. Remember you guys, I'm not doing product lists. So hit me up in the comments if you wanna know about something, but I mean, you can pretty much find everything on Amazon or not Polish's website or Savvyland. Um, all right, love you guys for watching. I promise to see you in the next one. Uh, bye. <laughs>